Mates, if you're new to coding, asking an AI to build you an app can feel hopeless. You write a short prompt, the tool spits out a pile of files, and you're left wondering, what did it actually do, and is any of this safe to use? I am Daniel, and I have been a business owner for the past decade. On this channel, I am sharing my insights with you. In this video, we are going to review Verdant AI from a beginner's point of view. The tool lives inside Visual Studio Code, so we'll build a super simple app with it. I'll create a smart cocktail recipe maker that understands your mood, and the tool will help me with its plan mode and follow-up questions. And guys, before we get started, just a quick reminder. Check the description for helpful links and discounts you won't want to miss. Let's jump right in. Okay guys, so basically Verdant AI is an agentic coding tool. It can plan tasks, create and edit files, and run tests. Verdant for Visual Studio Code is the extension we'll use today. And there's also a desktop version if you prefer working outside the editor. And now let's see how it works. All right, my friends, let's start with a big issue many beginners face. I'm talking about turning a messy idea into a clear request. Verdant is built to help with this by deeply understanding your questions and guiding you through a back and forth to improve them. So first, you need to open Visual Studio Code. Verdant should already be installed here. And now we can open our folder. I've named it Verdant Bartender. Let's click the icon. And this is where we'll be working. Next, guys, we should switch the mode. There is the chat mode, which understands and responds to your request naturally. And there is the plan mode. The last one generates a detailed plan for you to review and approve. Let's select it. We now see three types of plans. Frontend enables the generation of practical technical proposals. Test mode helps engineers produce well-structured test plans. And finally, PM is designed for product managers to help create a project blueprint before execution. Folks, since we are building a website, I'll choose Frontend and enter a simple prompt. Let's see how Verdant handles a website that generates cocktail recipes based on your mood. I also want to activate the Think Hard option. And now we can send our prompt. Right after that, Verdant asks a few follow-up questions. They truly help customize your future project and define your preferences. For example, how should the website determine the user's mood? We can select multiple choice buttons, but I prefer sliders. Then there's the question about generating cocktail recipes. Should there be a predefined list or should an LLM do the hard work? I'll select the hybrid option, which gives us the benefits of both. Next, my friends, you have to choose the text stack. You can specify it manually, but for this demo, I'll go with the simplest option, HTML plus JavaScript. And again, for the next question, I won't overcomplicate things. By the way, folks, you can skip these questions entirely and the tool will choose the answers for you. Now let's click Submit. After about a minute, Verdant prepared the plan. And guys, you can resubmit your answers at any time and change your vision of how the project should work. But let's leave everything as is for now and open the plan preview. So the system will develop a mood input system, a recipe database, and a smart matching algorithm. Of course, the website must also include clear cocktail descriptions and proper HTML and CSS implementation. Everything looks great. And now, guys, let's generate the final plan. This takes a bit of time. As you can see, Verdant creates different tasks and specifies every detail. We can edit this plan or simply start building the website. Folks, while Verdant is working, let's take a look at the technical architecture of our project. Next, click View. Here we see a short overview and the core objectives. But most importantly, I want to show you this diagram. You can zoom in and clearly see the logic of the processes. The entire user journey is visualized here. A visitor opens the website, interacts with the sliders, clicks the button, and gets the result. Everything is straightforward. You can even view the code of the diagram. And right below, there's a step-by-step -step breakdown you can check out if you want to see exactly how it works. Guys, before we continue, I am happy to share my insights with you. And all I ask in return is that you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks! After a couple of minutes, my friends, our project is ready. We see Verdant's report showing what was created. We have a database, 
the index.html file and the readme file. You'll find here also key features implemented and the explanation how to test it. So let's open our index.html file. As you can see guys, everything looks very simple yet functional. We see the site's name and the sliders that help us indicate our mood. There are even flavor preferences and a complexity level. So let's click the button. Here it is. Aviation is indeed a complex cocktail. We see the ingredients and preparation instructions. And if I choose a more relaxed and intimate mood, it suggests a martini and again shows how to prepare it. I really like that the site also provides short descriptions for each cocktail. Of course, my friends, this page can be improved and we can add more complex features. But even in this form, it's quite useful. Many people struggle with decision making. So this playful gamified approach can actually find practical use. For example, bars or clubs can embed it on their websites. All right, my friends, let's wrap it up. In today's demo, Verdant really helped with two common problems. First, it took a vague idea and turned it into clean working code. Then it asked a few follow-up questions to shape a detailed plan. And in the end, it built the project exactly how I wanted. Honestly, this approach makes coding feel simple. For a new developer, that combination is powerful. Verdant lets you focus on the idea while it handles the hard parts. So if you want to try it yourself, feel free to download the extension for VS Code. All right, my friends, and that's all about my Verdant AI review. So don't forget to check those links in the description below. If you had a good time, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.